on today's video we're gonna be heading back out to the range gonna be testing the six millimeter arc again there's been a lot of questions and comments on the arc and there seems to be a differing opinion between a couple different gunsmiths that I've talked to on most of them say that it's under gassed but does it have hard extraction doesn't it have hard extraction so I guess what we're gonna do shoot some rounds see what the cases look like see if it does actually have hard extraction and uh, while we're doing it I guess we're gonna test two different types of ammo the 103 ELDX and the 105 Boattail Hollow Point Black um, and see what we get for accuracy out of them while we're doing it. So, got the 103 Precision Hunters, 105 Hornaday Blacks. I'm going to shoot three five round groups a piece here and really um, what we're looking for is just, you know, signs of hard extraction on here um, to see if we need to adjust anything in the in the operation system here. Well, there's one group. Well, second group. Last group doesn't look too bad, but the first two do not look good. All right, first group of the 105s. Definitely not a good group. All right. Group number two with the 105s. I think these are way to the left here. Oh, the scope came loose. Well, I robbed the scope off of here to do some ammo accuracy testing for another guy's rifle and apparently when I put it back on here I forgot to torque down the nuts on the mount so we'll uh, get them torqued down go about 45 or so for right now no wonder them groups weren't looking very good one didn't look bad, and then they went to, they went south pretty quick. So, 
always check your gear. <laughs> All right, I'll put these last five down there, see what these things look like, then take all the cases back in the house and we'll inspect the rims and the head stamps on them, see what they look like. Last one was a little bit of a flyer, but that's all right. So we started out with the 103 ELDMs, and these groups aren't looking good, but the first ones here, and then had one bad flyer. Moved into the second group, things opened up a little more. Had a couple to go in with two big flyers. Then went over to the 105s and had that. A couple down here. Next thing you know, we're clear over here and shooting over there. That's when we realized that uh, the scope came loose on it. So all these groups are completely junk. So tightened her back up, shot that. So not, uh, not real great, but I'm in a hurry anyway, because I got to go to work by noon. So I took the cases in to work with me and showed them to my gunsmiths. And what we were looking at is the ejector marks that are on a couple of these here. They don't look anything abnormal compared to any other AR. They're not smeared to the side or swiped on there. Same thing with the radial marks that are in there. Also not smeared backwards looking like they've been uh, pulled out while the case was still expanded grinding everything towards the front of the case on some of them I don't know if we can get this to focus in here you've got right there and right there you can see where the extractor digs into it a little bit from the side but upon looking at them if we get to focus here none of them are bent outward right there so again with that thing still being flat kind of also not a sign of being pulled out under heavy extraction uh, what we did notice with the radial marks though is that uh, we took a look into the chamber I used my bore scope and my chamber does need polished out on this proof research barrel so that's probably half of what's leaving all the radial marks on there. So that's, uh, that's two issues with the proof research barrel that I've had in the last couple months. But he didn't think that there was anything really wrong with my cases that would be suggesting that they're, that they're being extracted while still expanded. Let me know what you think in the comments comment share thanks for watching everybody we'll see you on the next one